Hey everyone, it's the Bat Prototype, and we are going over enemy mobs of the regular overworld. And there's quite a few, so we are going to jump right into it. So the first one here is a regular spider, which tends to be, I believe, um, depending if you have any like skins on, they tend to look a little bit bigger than the cave spiders, which is next. Uh, if you kill a regular spider, you will get string and or um, a spider eye. Now with the cave spider, as in the name, you can um, only find them generally in the caves. And again, similar drops, a string, and spider eye. Next is our lovely creeper, which I think everybody hates, because they'll sneak up on you and explode you. Now, generally, if you're able to kill it before it explodes, you'll get gunpowder, but something even I didn't know, if you get a skeleton to kill it, you'll get a disc, generally. <laughs> Not always, but sometimes you will get a disc to drop, so that's kind of a unique thing. I didn't know. Now, on to the regular zombies, which are everywhere. Now, when you kill it, you can get drops of poisonous potato, a regular potato, an iron ingot, and less likely, but generally only if it's carrying, and anything pretty much that has weapons or armor will only drop those if they're wearing it. Uh, you can get a iron sword, axe, and shovel, and of course, rotten flesh. Now, zombie villagers, you can get roughly the same stuff, um, but you can also get a carrot. Um, and instead of poisonous potato, you just get regular potato and iron nuggets. And again, with the sword, shovel, and axe, and rotten flesh. You can see the difference between uh, zombies and zombie villagers, because zombie villagers look like just destroyed villagers, whereas zombies just look like that. <laughs> Now, on to skeletons. God, these make some obnoxious sounds. So skeletons, again, you can find anywhere in the world. They occasionally drop bows, um, arrows more so, and definitely bones. Now, one of the more difficult things to find sometimes, I know I have a pain trying to find them, are slimes. And if you kill one, you'll get a few slime balls, which are very useful for making like pistons and whatnot. Really? <laughs> now, for the next one is silverfish, which do not drop anything, and you basically only find them in strongholds. You can find them occasionally throughout the world if there's, I think it's like block 46 or something gets hit, and you'll know it's that because it's much harder to break than your average stone. Uh, these can be difficult to kill because they'll burrow into other blocks, um, but apparently not glass. <laughs> now, our lovely little which, um, which from what I've seen, it drops the most uh, variety of things. So you can get redstone, gunpowder, glowstone, empty glass bottle, sticks, <laughs> you kind of use those, spider eyes, sugar, and then really good ones. If you kill them before they throw the bottles, oftentimes you can get a potion of fire resistance, healing, or um, rege regeneration. <sighs> now we're getting to some of the not original <laughs> mobs. Oh, and with witches, you generally find them in swamps and huts. But not always. You can sometimes find them in uh, caves. Now, these lovely things called husks, you generally only find them in desert biomes. Now, similar to zombies, they do look a lot like zombies. You get rotten flesh. And if they're wearing um, any armor or weapons, those will drop as well. As you can see, um, looks like they're wearing helmets. I'm not really sure if those are, well, maybe they're not. Maybe that's just how they look. I <laughs> can't really tell. I've very rarely come across them. Now, with the Vindicator, uh, which is another newer one, which you find in the Woodland Mansion, a few of these are coming up are from the Woodland Mansion, um, you, can get an <laughs> you can get an emerald or possibly an iron axe. These guys look like just really pissed off villagers. <laughs> now this one, the Evoker, um, let me show you, well, first, if you kill this, um, and I do believe I covered this in a previous tutorial 
because of uh, armor and all that stuff, um, he used the totems. Uh, if you kill one, you'll get a totem of undying and emerald. And um, now something I can't really cage is the vex, so let me show you what those look like. Whoops. Those are vexes that can float through walls, of course, which is so fun. But occasionally they will drop a, um, an iron sword. Now, the next two are from the underwater uh, biome for the uh, temples. Oh, these guys are pain in the butt. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, they're so funny. Now, the smaller one is called a guardian, and you can get um, a raw fish, a raw salmon, clownfish, pufferfish, and or um, prismarine crystals and shards. Um, I believe all of these do it, but uh, definitely this bigger one, that's a boss, the Elder Guardian, um, can make it so you your mining is slowed and it's just, it's a real pain. So unless you have a bucket of milk, which I highly recommend. Yeah. Uh, now the Guardian is another one that drops a lot of stuff. Like I said, it is a um, <coughs> considered a boss. It drops roughly the same stuff with the raw fish, salmon, uh, clownfish, uh, pufferfish, shards, and um, crystals. But it also drops, and these are very fun blocks, <laughs> wet sponges, which you can dry if you put in a furnace, which we'll cover at a different time. That is a big one. Uh, he can be quite a pain to kill. And now, again, like, this guy always, like, ditches. Is the stray. So I'll just show you. It's a variant of the skeleton, and uh, these are generally just found in um, ice biomes. Or snow cold biomes. And you, of course, like with regular skeletons can get bone <laughs> arrows and uh bows arrows and bones there we go so that is it for excuse you uh <laughs> for the um enemy mobs found in the overworld uh what will follow is the nether enemies then the end enemies and then some unique ones you may not know about and some bosses so i will talk to you guys later <laughs> bye